Law enforcement is the de facto crisis responders because of an underfunded behavioral health care system. We're facing an epidemic of homelessness with mental health and addiction problems. We've been overwhelmed by an opioid crisis in terms of overdose deaths over the last four and a half years. Police service is the only service that you can get a hold of you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of, of the year. So that's the organization that's going to get the call. My brother and I were two years apart, and we fought like normal siblings. As we got older, we shared a special bond. I wanted to be a writer and go to Paris like Simone de Beauvoir. And he wanted to be a painter. I'm looking for my brother, and he looks like this. That's with a beard, and this is without a beard. For me, the onset of Bruce's illness came over time. I never recognized he was ill. I just thought he was depressed. And I think a lot of families make that mistake because we don't recognize the symptoms. When I started school, he was in high school already. He was a very good brother. His voices were getting stronger and stronger. And we went to the emergency ward. The doctor says, yes, he, he does need to be hospitalized. But we don't have any beds. We have seen a very drastic, I would say, reduction in hospital beds. The numbers of beds per hundred uh, thousand population in Canada is amongst the lowest in the world. And here he is at Christmas with his dad. I can't tell you how many times they've told us, yes, your, your brother is so ill, he's so ill, he needs help, but the system's just not built to help him. Really, we need to be looking at what can we do before people are, are in crisis. She has to be homeless in order to go into, to be a priority. The next time she goes in hospital, refuse to bring her home. Just because a person is not bleeding does not mean that they are not suffering. He was a really good big brother. There's a lot of people like him out there. They are worthy people and they deserve a better life. It's unconscionable that our society with so much wealth allows people to live in tents and on the streets. The importance of this job is to show them that, that they matter, right? Because a lot of them are feel that they, this is all they deserve. And nobody deserves this.